twenty in the morning. We're supposed to meet at the lobby at four thirty. Slept there a little bit. We have a three hour bus ride to Abuzal. This is probably like the second biggest thing I'm looking forward to, so hopefully it's not let down, but we gotta go to the lobby, so we'll take you with us. I hope this isn't too desperate. I literally made instant coffee and poured it in a water bottle because I didn't have to go cups. It's 4 20 in the morning. Here's our bus. <laughs> a box of breakfast for the road. There's a lot of bread in there. Just in time. <laughs> Our breakfast. Going to the bus. Imagining that on the other side of that, we're only 17 kilometers away from Sudan right now. Oh shoot! I like how they make you walk from the back to build the suspense. Yeah. Where's it? I know the suspense. <laughs> Dang, dude. Those are definitely <laughs> as big as advertised. Yeah. That is wow. so fun. that Ramses II built for one of his 42 wives, yeah. Nefertari. And over 100 kids. This is his temple that he built yeah, for it's her. Queen Nefertari. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So another fun fact we learned was the uh, the one that's missing the head. It actually fell apart in construction during the lifetime of King Ramses, like a couple years after they built it. And the architects didn't say a word about it. The king never knew <laughs> that his statue fell apart on him. Another cool fact, those monuments used to be right here, but 65 meters below. And then when they built the Aswan Dam, it all got flooded. So they had to relocate and move everything up to here. And they preserved everything the way they exactly had it. So even the face from the fallen crumble and stuff, they kept it in the same spot. And it cost just as much to move the structure as it did to build the eyes one dam. Time to say goodbye. We're heading back to the bus now. So we've got a three hour drive back to Aswan. And then we're gonna board the Feluca, which we're gonna stay on for two nights. Floating the night. So so we're leaving. Worth waking up at 4.30? Oh yeah. <laughs> Back at the hotel, we're getting ready to get on our Faluka. Can I stay in the middle, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like there's plenty of space. Dude, this is so cool. It's like all one big mattress. <laughs> so we're staying on the Nile for two days. Or two nights. This will be our home for the next 48 hours. <laughs> Are you making yourself at home? So chilling like an ancient Egyptian. <laughs> We 
have set sail. That is our support boat with the kitchen and bathrooms. There's such a nice cool breeze. It is beautiful out here. This is what my soul needed. It's so relaxing. So we docked our spot yeah. for the Nile for the night and our tour guide said that he knows this Nubian village where we can go visit the house, see the culture, try some of their tea and be fun. Now this is experiencing culture. <laughs> Enjoy looking around, you can take photos. We'll be sitting, enjoying a drink or sheesh. Feel, feel at home, please. Hello. 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 Seems like a happy little guy. So this is the gathering place. This is the shady part where the yeah. family can lounge it. I like the artwork. I feel weird just like going yeah, into their rooms. Their house, he said that you can take photos and stuff. Oh yeah. It's their bedroom. He said the ceilings are domes because it gets some ventilation. closed I'm sorry I'm not opening it. I don't want to invade someone's privacy even though they're giving me the go ahead. It's very nice of them to open their home to us. Let us see their way of life and culture. It's in bathrooms. And then this is their uh, courtyard. You got rooms to the left, rooms to the right. <laughs> Too many people in our house. We ended up hanging out for a few hours at their lovely home. We had a great time talking and getting to know our tour group a little more. The woman who lived there made us some delicious green tea with mint. Egyptian tea with mint. Oh, that's good. I hope this is what I bought at the market. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we brought some green mint tea too. And our tour guide, Alum, thought it would be funny to put a beetle in Logan's hand. Those people were so nice. They are so nice. Like, this is what it's all about. This yeah. was an experience that I will never forget. Yeah, that was really cool. Like, cool. This was amazing. <laughs> yeah, so now we're going back to the Felucca to have dinner. If you step in poo, donkey poo, you're not allowed back on the Felucca. <laughs> you gotta watch out for stuff like this. We might be going back to the Nubian's house to stay the night. I'm sweet home for the night. <laughs> and we're on the Nile. <laughs> Just in case she falls in the water. Uh, and then we laugh. Made it back on. <laughs> so this is like a traditional Nubian meal. It's equivalent to kind of like pot roast. Time for bed. Just like another now. Get like a, a slow shot. What's her name? Nefertari. Nefertari. 
Atari. Um, but you know they. Another cool factor, or a cool fact is, so there's some fun facts. Can y'all see all these little bug things? They're like all over my pack. They're all around us. I see them all over the camera. If this is what a Feluca trip's gonna be like on the Nile, we're in trouble, babe. <laughs> this is a bad angle. Yeah, this is a bad angle. <laughs> what you doing? Do what? <laughs> <laughs> 